Greetings from Bangladesh. Good evening and good morning and good noon, good afternoon, everyone who are watching this show. Uh, thank you very much again. Today, our episode number is 118 and title of our program is today, The World of Poetry Recitations in Poet Voice, Part 32. Today, 7th August. Now, today is Sunday. It is in Bangladesh time, 9 p.m. The sky of poetry is one. Uh, though the all poets live around the world, but their thinking thoughts are same. That is humanism. All the poets are written their poetry in humanism. If you, was to, if you want to see the uh, sky, sometimes you can see the rainbow. Multicolor rainbow you can see in your eyes. Poetry is like that, the rainbow. It sometimes touches our heart, sometimes touches our mind. So thank you, everyone. Today, from seven countries, nine poets are participating in this show. Every time we have started our program from our native country, that is Bangladesh. But for the first time, uh, we are starting our program from Spain because our one of the important poetess Aida Ecosta Alfonso, uh, she is very busy today, but she is very much dedicated for poetry. So she is present here. So at first, I am inviting poetess Aida Ecosta Alf Alfonso. Now, <clears throat> I am introducing one of the well known poetess who is from Spain. She is Aida Ecosta Alfonso. She is a poetess, article writer. She is the author of Silva Bus de Luz, that is Syllabus of Light, Et Dahlia, which has been published in 2016. Her book has been published in literary magazine in Spain and other countries and included in multiple anthologies in Spain and Portugal. She has participated in numerous recital and festival. Her poem has been translated into Italian, Arabic, and English languages. Aida has been the creative force behind a range of poetry project. She always share her poems on Facebook and also share on her blog, Iluvia de Libelulas, that is a shower of dragonflies. Now, I am inviting poetess Aida Ecosta Alfonso to present her two poems today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, dear poets. Uh, good afternoon from Spain. Uh, I am happy uh, to share my poetry with you. Uh, I write uh, you two poems in, in Spanish. The, the poem is um, from Cervantes, uh, El Quijote. Loco soy, loco he de ser, con el corazón encendido de piedras azules, cabalgo a golpe de corcheas. A lo lejos, en la llanura de pianos, elefantes dalinianos y jirafas, libro la batalla, alzo girasoles, y Calíope en su meditación transcribe cada paso. Vamos, Sancho, apura el trote, que en tu sombra crecen ortigas de alambre y huele a flores de cantueso viejas. Conozco los árboles de la discordia, apagar el fuego rompiendo nubes. Mira, el enemigo duerme en la cueva de la ignorancia, perdió los ojos. ¿No ves este salmo de miradas errantes que caminan en círculos? Apuremos el espejo y su ladrido. Loco soy. Dulcinea duerme en todas las mujeres como un remolino de espigas, un puñado de almendras. Y aquí, este racimo de palabras, el tío vivo de mis andanzas me desvela. Sancho, enciende esa lámpara, que esta pena son caracoles enfermizos, que ya no encuentro el camino entre las mantas. Este laberinto arrabalesco me doblega, una bandada de cactus me palpita. Dulcinea, Dulcinea, toma estos besos simulados, pompas de jabón, iré en triciclo, te buscaré en el parnaso. Dulcinea, Dulcinea, Dulcinea en la tierra como en el cielo. Dulcinea, loco soy, Sancho, loco soy, 
Dicen que tengo trastorno bipolar, un cuadro hipomaníaco. No dejes, amigo, que me lleven a terapia, que me receten valproato. Apaga este candil, este sol de hielo, ensilla golondrinas, llena las alforjas de lunas y de versos. Llévame contigo a Barataria. Loco soy, loco he de ser. And the other poem. Hoy la tristeza es capicúa. Se encierra en una torre consumista, llena de garabatos. Su tiempo de deshoras es la llamada del silencio. Es la mujer que llora abriendo su vientre de pájaros negros. Es el andén y los pasos que fueron. Es la sonrisa obligada y los árboles viejos. El empeño por vivir al desvivirse. Iniciar cada día una pirámide inversa que se llena de mar, que se ahoga. Esta tristeza lleva piernas largas y abre senderos en las manos del olvido. No quiero hoy que llegues a casa con un rastrojo lánguido de lo que fue ayer, de la tibieza que no hubo, de los besos que olvidamos darnos. Hay demasiada tristeza hoy, demasiada arquitectura de lo que nunca será. Thank you very much, Tufik, uh, for having me. Uh, I'm sorry I can stay. Uh, cordial and poetic greetings uh, from Spain to you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you very much, Aida Costa Alfonso, for your beautiful starting. Though you are very much busy today, so uh, we are starting from you. Thank you very much for joining with us. Thank you again. God bless you. We will invite you later. Thank you very much. Now, I am inviting poet Arnob Ashik. Now I am invite poet Arnav Ashik. Now I am introducing one of the renowned poet who is from Bangladesh. He is poet Arnav Ashik. He has started his career as a professor and then he joined government high official. He has been published nine poetry books. His first book, which title Dhub Gondhomoy A Jibon, was published in 2014. His last publication, Masline Jarano Kosto, was published in 2022 in Bengali Book Fair in Bangladesh. He studied in University of Dhaka. His subject was Bengali literature. He got some prestigious award from Bangladesh and India for his outstanding creation in poetry. Now, I am inviting poet Arnav Ashik to present his first poem today. Thank you. Please unmute your phone. Please unmute your phone. We cannot hear your voice. No, no, already muted. Please unmute, unmute your phone. Check your, check your headphone. We cannot hear your voice. Uh, just uh, see your picture in the monitor. No, 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 no voice, no voice. I think, I think your headphone is in trouble. So please check. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I cannot hear. We cannot hear your voice. So please take your phone. Now I am inviting. Yes, please take your phone. I will call you later. Now I am inviting poet Kusol Bhomik. Now, I am introducing one of the popular and promising poets who is from Bangladesh. He is poet Kushal Bhoumik. He is a poet, essayist, novelist. By profession, he is an assistant professor of English literature. He published six books, where five poetry books and one novel. He has been, books and one he, has been, he, has been he has been received some prestigious award from Bangladesh and India 
for his excellent performance in poetry. His poem essay published many journal, web magazine, daily paper, little magazine in Bangladesh and also in India. He is also an editor of a little magazine whose name is Purobi. Now I am inviting poet Kushal Bhoubik to present his first poem today. Thank you. I think uh, Kushal is out of connect. Uh, Mr. Ordo Vashik, do you hear me? Mr. Ordo Vashik, do you hear me? No, no, we cannot hear your voice. Uh, sorry. Now I am inviting uh, poetess Aniti Tarple from USA. Now, I am introducing one of the well-known poetess who is from United States of America. She is poetess Aniti Tarple. At present, her residence in Virginia, whole day she works, but at night she writes poetry. Her poetry book named Poetry Potpourri, which is available on Amazon and Barnes. And novel comprised of a variety of over 110 poems released in February 2021. To Heart, a journey into heartfelt poetry with co author poet Sarfaraz Ahmed. Her feature published many international poetry festivals. Her currently work into an anthology who is featuring over 100 selected poets around the world. Now, I am inviting poetess Aniti Tarple to present her first poem today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure to be here in all of your presence. Um, I just am unfortunately an off the cuff uh, person as far as selecting my selection at the last minute. So I ran across this one that I, I uh, actually wrote quite some time ago. It's called the tree of an enlightenment, the tree of enlightenment. He walked to the tree of an enlightenment on a starry moonlit night. The world was no longer his oyster depression. He now often did fight. He had carried his burdens long enough, a wedge between himself and his wife. Desperate he was to regain his constitution to again have a grip on his life. As he neared the tree, he gazed upon it, a lit in an effervescent white. He remembered it from his youth. He did not remember it was so bright. In his mind, he heard the tree say, why have you come to me? What can I do for you? I remember you as a little boy. Your trips as a man have been null. My wisdom you, have not, you did not choose. Oh dear tree of an enlightenment, it is your wisdom now I seek. I'm no longer the strong man I was. I often feel defeated and weak. Success in life I have sought, of which much I have attained. Yet I have neglected people in my life, and as a result, my happiness has waned. The tree sighed, and its branches shook. In a deep voice, it began to speak. You are a man who has much wisdom. Look within. There are some call me the tree of enlightenment. They come here to find answers filled with sage. But everyone's life is a book. They need to continue on reading and just turn the page. Think about the storms I endure, strong gusts of wind tossed by branches around. Yet, if you continue to view the next day, a bright new day that is calm can be found. Such is life with man. Stormy weather will always come your way. You have to take the bad with the good and embrace the promise of a fresh new day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anati Tarple, for your beautiful starting. Kushal, do you hear me? Kushol, Kushol, do you hear me? Kushol Bhomik, do you hear me? Kushol, do you hear me? 
Mr. Onovasik, do you hear me? Mr. Onovasik, do you hear me? I don't understand why these uh, two poet from Bangladesh, we cannot uh, hear their voice. Uh, sorry. Uh, now I am inviting uh, poet Sudang Shurangjun Shaha from India. Now I am introducing one of the well-known poet who is from India. He is poet Sudang Shurangjun Shaha. He is a poet. He is engaged a cultural organization title of that organization is Bandhapadhyay Sanskritik Parishad. He is working there as an editor. He has completed his study in commerce and got an MBA degree in humanism, human resource. His first book, whose title Shopne Dubshatar, oh, was no, published no. in 2018. He has published oh, okay. five poetry books. Tofik, you are telling yes. about uh, hip hop. Tofik, you are, you yes. are telling about uh, hip hop. Just wait. He received some important award from India and Bangladesh. Now I am inviting poet Sudangshur Anjan Shaha to present his first poem today. Yes, <coughs> please. Uh, thank you, Tofik. I am really happy to hear. To join here with the first of all over the world. Actually, what we are telling re regarding myself it is not Mr. Bridges uh, about uh, So, I am our first Kavita Purchi Bangla. Kavita Chironam, Babu Gure Ghumu. एक दिन मेहोगनी भोरे से डाके तुम्हार की जाबारा से कुछ हो तो ठीक मात्रे जाने पप पॉट परोल रखा है ना त्रिको त्रिभुज चौथुल भुज है दिया क्या अब वो भी भूरो और तो ले अनिल कुकीरे इंबा नाली जाना है Paul Lukugane was a pache, Jomote Jibon, Jokpal Gunpale, Barbar Parapore, Pule Paranko, Alor Jamiti Gavase, Plan to Gach Shorok, Kuaja Shorolotar, Bosovas Konje, Andhokar Surunge, Nirjon Brumon Birte, Ottoba Mutomuto El Jolame. Thank you. Thank you very much, Poet Sudang Suranjan Saha, for your beautiful starting. Really, uh, we are very much impressed to hear your beautiful poem. Mr. Onovashik, do you hear me? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, I am introducing one of the renowned poets who is from Bangladesh. He is Poet Arnov Ashik. He has started his career as a professor and then he joined government high official. He has been published nine poetry books. His first book, which was titled Dhup Gonthomoy e Jibon, was published in 2014. His last publication, Musline Joranokosto, was published in 2022 in Book Fair in Bangladesh. He studied in University of Dhaka. His subject was Bengali literature. He got some prestigious award from Bangladesh and India for his outstanding creation in poetry. Now, I am inviting poet Ornob Ashik to present his first poem today. Thank you. Thank you, Tafik Johus and Uddan TV requesting me. Amar Prothom Kavita Amadeir Nabola Kotha Tebile Rek Pashi Tumi Onno Pashi Ami Durotto Rekhe Chhi Dujo Nei Shorirere Durotto Chik Manchu E Ache Algo Chhe Vemalum Uposhi Shokal Eir Matui Nana Chale Kotha Hai 
মনের দোর খুলে বাইরে দাঁড়াই দুজনে নির্লোক শ্মানের পাশে পরস্পর এইভাবে চলি সময় চলে যায় সময়ের স্রোতে আমাদের বিভ্রম থেকে লুটিপুটে খায় অব্যক্ত কথা চারুকলা সৃষ্টি হয় হৃদয়ে তোমার অমতে এভাবেই সময়ে চলে যায় নিভে যায় পরস্পরা প্রদীপের চোখ পড়ে থাকে না বলা কথা শোকাতুর হয় ভালোবাসা সুখ ধন্যবাদ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ পয়েত অনবাসিক ফর ইউর বিউটিফুল স্টার্টিং নাও আই এম ইনভাইটিং অনারেবল পয়েটেস ইমেন মিলিতি ফ্রম তিউনিশিয়া নাও I am introducing one of the eminent poetess who is from Tunisia. She is Imen Mileti. She is a qualified PhD in international relations, bilingual translator poetess. She has published three children books and academic book, a poetry collection, who is published White Tulip in United States of America. She is the member International Humanitarian Association. She has received many international awards for his outstanding performance for literature. Now, I am inviting poetess Emin Mileti to present her first poem today. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm so, so glad and honored to be among uh, a bunch of international and global author uh, poet and poses. I'm so, so proud of this. And I owe all the love to my friend, uh, Mr. Tufir uh, Zuhu, for this golden opportunities to present my country, Tunisia. So today I select one poem from my book, Season of Sunflowers, uh, entitled Life's Lesson. If I have learned something from life, is that sometimes the darkest moment can take us to the brighter destinations. I have learned that toxic people can teach us the most important lessons, that our most painful struggles can give us the greatest morals, and that the most of heartbreaking losses of love and friendship can pave ways to the most wonderful encounters. I've learned that what seems like a curse right now can actually be a blessing and what seems like the end of the road is actually the discovery that we are meant to take another path. I've learned that even tough things seem difficult, there is always hope. And I've learned that even though we feel hopeless and things seem horrible, we can give up, we must continue, even when it's a scary, even when all our strength seems exhausted. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Poetess Emen Mileti, for your beautiful starting. Thank you again. Now I am inviting my friend Ephesenia Mitochi from Cyprus. Now, I am introducing one of the important poetess who is from Cyprus. She is Ephigenia Mitochi. She was born in Limassol in 1974. She graduated from high school Peter and Paul Lyceum in Athens. She received a diploma in jewelry, silver and gold design and creation. She is also a self-taught painter. She is also illustrated and design cover of books. In 1988, she was awarded by the Seoul Olympic Art Festival with the World School Children Art Exhibitions. She can speak three languages like French, English, and Spanish. She started writing poetry since she was young. She adored the sea which sins the, then remain the source of her inspiration in writing and art. At present, she is the member of the board of the Limassol Writers Society, Vasilis Machialidis, holding the post secretary. 
she is also member of the coordinator team of cultural activities of limassol member of the pen greece chapter member of the international group of limassol of the national society of greek writers of cyprus member of the spiritual horizons and of the spiritual cycle of limassol recently she became the member of hellenic cyprus cultural association her poem and short stories have been awarded in greece and published many literature magazine in 2003 she published her selected poems titled adolescent thought in 2008 her selection of short stories title of the sea and the sun and 2021 her stories on memory and tradition title painting touches of sea were published now i am inviting poetess ephigenia mitochi to present her first poem today thank you please unmute your phone unmute your phone sorry uh, i'm very glad to be with all of you today thank you my friend to speak okay i will start with one, one poem a full moon nine nights like this are something that the full nine is stronger than me as it is illuminate and that i want to keep hidden in the darkness of my mind When the moon rises, the sea covers the land. Let me come with you like before. As a child, I still had so many dreams. If I could remove all unnecessary things from the world, I would only keep the sea, the moon, poetry, music, and you. And so our evening would be much more meaningful under the moonlight on a beach. I will recite to you and you dance for me. Thank you. Thank you very much Ephigenia for your beautiful starting from Cyprus. Now we are going to Argentina. Now I am inviting our youngest poetess friend Maria Blen Martaidi. Now I am introducing one of the persuasive poetess who is from Argentina she is Maria Blen Martairi she is only 19 years old from the age of 3 she had a great interest in literature at the age of 14 she wrote her first novel on the digital book platform whatpad her novel reached 4.9000 viewers her formal literature career began at the age of 17 to date she has got 37 international literary award in europe and latin america her poem have been published to two anthologies 12 international digital magazines she received 49 certificate 10 glasses square two medals and two interview on spotify international platform among others Now I am in the inviting poetess Maria Blen Martairi to present her first poem today. Thank you. Hello, I want to thank you for the great opportunity to be here, and thank you, my friend, to speak. I am very uh, thank you for you, and your work is wonderful. Uh, thank you very much. It's a dream come true for me. Uh, I will read my poem in Spanish. Se llama Falso Poderío y comenzaré a leerlo. Muchas gracias. Tu juego favorito es manipular mesagradamente. Qué ridiculez disfrazó mi ser al creer que podría ser real. Por un segundo llegué a creerte, pero otra vez vivía en una fantasía. Una fantasía que terminó de destrozar mi vida. Porque no importaba cuántas cosas hiciera por mí o por ti, siempre sería el monstruo destinado a arruinar tu vida. Y realmente me convenciste de creerlo. Perdí el control de mis emociones, el pánico tomó control de mi corazón y me convertí en mi peor versión. Y la has construido tú. Amabas verme en mi peor estado. Te inspiraba, sentías orgullo de verme destrozada. 
no podía respirar por mí misma. Recuerdo eso cada momento. ¿Por qué tuviste que destrozarme así? Quizás me lo merecía. No puedo evitar asimilar el hecho de que de verdad lo merecía. Tu existencia provoca estragos en la autoestima de las personas. Eres un humano frívolo y me decepciona a mí misma. Porque vuelvo a ti siempre que me lo prohíben. Vuelvo a ti cuando sé que no lo mereces. Vuelvo a ti cuando sé que no debo. Y vuelvo a ti cada vez que me decepciono a mí misma. Porque contigo el rechazo es común. Y yo no puedo rechazarme más a mí misma. Por eso mismo siempre vuelvo a ti. Porque busco un sentimiento que demuestre, o un hecho que demuestre, que no todo está mal en mí. Que el problema no soy yo, pero siempre lo termino confirmando. Soy una tormenta que arrasa con todo a su paso, un maldito tornado. Y los tornados no deben minimizarse. Porque inventaste un poder en ti invisible, incluso inservible. Pero lo que nunca supiste es que yo misma iba a derrumbar tu falso poderío. Iba a destruirte, y lo hice, tal como lo juré. Siempre subastimaste el poder y asimilaste una imagen débil sobre mí. Sin saber que yo misma iba a destrozar tu patética vida y tu reino de papel. Bienvenido al mundo real, ante mí no volverás a tener poder, lo prohíbo, y bienvenido a tu nueva realidad, donde ya no serás nadie nunca más. Tampoco podrás humillarme, ni tampoco podrás escupirme, ya no podrás golpearme, y solo quiero decirte que te prepares, porque seré tu peor destino. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much, Maria, for your beautiful starting. Though we don't understand the language of Spanish, but we have to understand the rhythm of this language. Thank you very much for your beautiful starting. Uh, now, again, from Argentina, we are coming back to Bangladesh. Now, I am inviting again poet Arnob Ashik to present his uh, second poem today. Thank you. Uh, please unmute your phone. Poet Arnob Ashik, please unmute your phone. Now, can you yes. hear? Yes. Nagorik Jivon. Bohudin Amon Bikel Dekin. Megheri Pahar Panga Bikel. Dalim Ronger Shurcho. Beriashe Chad Bagare, Gohiri Kelash Tere Nagori Kuchudalane Chade, Uron Tochile Dana, Amake Dakche, Akashe Chikana Pashe Notunu Chuboshuti Uche, Matikura Remeshi, It Hangar, Ectana Tonad, Jaltolar Tibro Shoto, Bangakate Janala Bhit Kore, Dirgo Goduli in Norom Book Take, Kirina and It Janata. एक टी बिकेल शुद्ध कादे झिझिर ढाके पातार मार मारे विषम न करे आमाएं ये शहर एक अन धूल माएं बाता से शोरी रे शिशारो नुकाना एमोनी बिकेल रंगेरे गांधे आमा के कादा है बहु दिन इम्रियोमान रंग जेले बेदोना जागनो धूतो गामी एमोनी बिकेल देखीनी शोनार होरीन हुए मिशे जाए गुधुलेरी रंग मेघेरे कान्ना सुरे बाता से बाजे तिलो कमो आहा नागोरी की जीवो धन्यवाद। Thank you very much, poet Onobashi, for your beautiful lyrical poem. You have to read. Thank you very much from Bangladesh. We are going to United States of America now. Again, I am inviting poetess Aniti Tarple to present her second poem today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, very um, glad to be here in all of your presence. Um, this was actually written for a friend of mine um, and is a little bit about his life. It's called The Boy Within the Man. Thrown into a perilous life, abandoned and all alone. A young lad he was, no parents to make a house, a home. Who was he? Where did he belong? He cried in disparity by many. He was used and abused, a broken commodity. A young boy with a keen mind growing up before his time. Adults who were chose to look the other way were accessories to the crime. On occasion, a man would visit a relative who saw his potential, a protege on ivories his fingers played, the savior who was influential. Despite his hardships, he grew up a 
young man wise beyond his years. He would give accolades to others, yet for himself he shunned the cheers. A giving heart he possessed, kind and caring, gilded and gold. His truths he hid, no one else quite like him. His story remained untold. This remarkable man of many talents was a gift given to the world. Denying the truth a woman told him, his boy would not believe her girl. To shed light on his talents, this man with purpose was her plan. Yet the girl within her failed to convince the boy within the man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Poetess Aneti Tarple, for your beautiful poem. Really, it is the scenery of our social picture. Thank you very much. Such a imagination poetry you have to retain. Thank you very much. Now from America, we are coming back to India. I'm inviting poet Sudhangsha Ranjan Shah to present his second poem today. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Tofik, once again. Uh, I will uh, read one of my poems in English. Study of nature. The entire nature is under my syllabus. In the dark, I am searching for light desperately. And life is expanding its wings in the year of endless darkness. Still, I am searching for life meaninglessly, forgetting the forest by means of a tree or two, forgetting the lakes just by means of a pond or two, and disregarding the agonies of lacks of ice just by means of the brightness of a few eyes. What precious we are losing human relation. In fact, there is an acute scarcity of love in every stage of life. Like rain, that love moves all over the deserted house. The trees, birds, and human beings is end all together. Thank you. Thank you very much, poet Sudang Suranjan Shah, for your beautiful poem. Thank you very much again from India. We are going to Tunisia. Now I am inviting poetess Emin Meleti to present her second poem today. Now I am inviting poetess Emin Meleti to present her second poem today. Thank you. Hello. Poem from my book, uh, edited by uh, Stefan Baudin in Florida. So uh, my uh, poem uh, entitled "Never Give Up," and this is a message to be transmitted for all persons facing hardship or. Uh, with voiceless voice, so I'd like to send them this message. Miracles dwell in the invisible. Hope is there, where angels fly away. Your key is inside your heart. The sight of the soul in your light and guidance, you will see what you carry inside. You may get lost. You may feel in doubt. Beautiful paths can't be discovered without getting confused. Let the winds of heaven show you the way. Your unvoiced words will reach the sky. There is no bridge between you and Almighty Allah, the only one who can hear the voice within you. Don't hide your tears. There are the messenger of overwhelming grief and the mute words. Throw your pain in the river of forgiveness and forget it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Poetess Imen Such a beautiful poem you have to read. That is a message 
inside the poem. Thank you very much. Now we are going to Cyprus. Now I am inviting poetess Ephigenia Mitochi to present her second poem today. Thank you. Um, the second poem has the title When Silent Speak. Are you dreaming? If not, read. It's wonderful to know what even in our dreams a little mermaid is waiting for us there far across the sea, beyond the sun, beyond the foliage. Let's enjoy the rest of the ride, created by the heart, whatever it is. Come on, my soul, don't fool around. The beautiful things in life, they hold as much as the rain between our fingers. The point is not to forget, and we don't breathe out of handful of the night time. I once said that is poetry, the power we have with us, and breaks like a wave to those who want the cool off on its shore. And it's true. Because the colorful mermaids of my dream, thinking moonshine and plain, they scare gold dust around me. And here in my eyes, the calm sea, the storms fade away. I am on a rock in the middle of the sea. They are in the horizon and traveling with a quiet for the day, a sweet bird. Thank you. Thank you very much. Poetess Ephigenia Mitochi for your beautiful poem. Now I am inviting poetess Maria Blaine Martaidi to present Thank her you. second poem today. Thank you. Thank you so much. El mar de las emociones. Si tuviera la oportunidad en mi vida de pintar un océano eterno, sería sobre nuestra existencia absoluta. El mar es la fuente de vida de todo ser humano pero dejé de creer en esa teoría cuando te vi por primera vez. Cuando te vi por primera vez, el mundo se detuvo. Mi mente dejó de procesar información, y el aire no entraba correctamente hacia mis pulmones. El día que te conocí por primera vez, sentí un mar de emociones. Y es sorprendente cómo caí bajo tus encantos una tarde de otoño. No recuerdo tu nombre. ¿Puedes refrescarme la memoria? No recuerdo mi habla, solo visualizo tu cara en mis sueños de madrugada. Me desvelo frente al océano, recordando el color de tus ojos y tus murmuros, tu suave voz. Siento que un tsunami vino hacia mí cuando me miraste. Solo puedo hablar con el océano durante mi insomnio frustrado. Miro las estrellas, pidiendo volver a encontrarnos, porque si estuvimos destinados a vernos entre el océano de personas que se asomaban hacia nosotros, estaremos destinados a conversar una vez más pero por si quieres encontrarme, espérame en la playa, frente al océano, cuando tu cabeza no te permita dormir. Tu pecho duela y tus pensamientos sobre mí te abrumen hasta el final de los días. ¿Quieres ser mi océano cuando el mundo se me venga abajo? Postdata, aún te espero. Thank you so much. Thank you, María, for your beautiful presentation. Thank you very much again. I am going to poet Arnav Ashik to present his the third poem today. Now I am inviting poet Arnav Ashik. Thank you. Amar titiyo kobitar naam kotora kotha chokhe re kalo chipchi pe meet. Tar por ritu bad labe ritu re mat manus kadam full thike belly full. অভাব শুধু একই থেকে যাবে কোটরা কত চোখের কালো ছিপে মেয়েটি হাতে কদমের পরিবর্তে বেলি ফুল ঋতু বাদল হয় বদল হয় ফুলের ধরন অভাব শুধু একই থেকে যায় রাস্তা ফাঁকা ফুল হাতে ঝিনুক খোলা হাসির মেয়েটি নেই জানা গেল গত রাতে মেয়েটি গাড়ি চাপায় মারা গেছে তারপর ঋতু বদলাবে বর্ষা থেকে শীত গ্রীষ্ম থেকে শরৎ ঋতুর মতো মানুষ শুধু কোটরাগত ছিপছিপে ছেলে বা মেয়ে বিক্রি করে ফুল বা অন্য কিছু অভাব শুধু একই থেকে যায় 
হুকে আগ্নেয়গিরির জ্বালা নিয়ে ওরা ফুল বিক্রি করে অথবা অন্য কিছু অভাব শুধু একই থেকে যায় তারপর তারপর ধন্যবাদ Thank you very much, Poet Onnobashi, for your beautiful poem. Uh, we are really sorry, Poet Kushal Bhomi cannot connect it with us today during this network problem. So now again, I am going to Poetess Aniti Tarple to present her third poem today. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So I write a lot of fiction. This is another one. This one's on YouTube, actually, and is done much better than I'll probably do. It's called... Farewell, my love. Waves crashing onto the sands on a dark moonlit night. The moon and stars, her audience, capturing her tear within their light. Languishing, she strolled along, a ceramic vessel in her arms. She pulled the sweater around her, his masculine scent warding off harm. She smiled at glimpses of memories and enough to last a lifetime. He told her she had aged to perfection, comparing her to fine wine. Was that his laugh she could hear in the damp, salty air? For a moment, she closed her eyes, his breath, the breeze in her hair. She stumbled across a large curved shell, picking it up, holding it to her ear. She could hear the sounds of the ocean they loved, they visited every year. Time had elapsed that cool, dark night. Now she would do her mission. Out of the corner of her eye, she thought she saw him, a welcomed vision. She opened the top of the vessel she held, his act, releasing them now into the ocean, imagining he was looking down with a grin. The sky lit with brilliant colors, the sun rose, now shining so bright, bathed in the warmth of his love, unleashing, unleashed by the dawning light. Farewell, my love, ride the high tides, let it take you out to sea. There will always be a part of you that will forever reside within me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Poetess Aniti Tarple, for your beautiful poem. Really, day by day, you are uh, such a beautiful poetry. You have to create it. And we are surprised and we are highly appreciated your poem. Thank you very much uh, again. Now I am inviting poet Sudhanshu Ranjan Shah to present his third poem today. Thank you. আমার তৃতীয় আমার তৃতীয় কবিতার শিরোনাম স্পর্ধা নিছক দীর্ঘশ্বাস নয় তোমাকে প্রতিদিন সহ্য করি একটা অসম্ভব বৃষ্টি ভেজা কবিতার জন্য ক্যানভাসে একটা আস্ত তিস্তা জুড়ে দি জলের বিচিত্র গতি প্রকৃতি নিয়ে পৃথিবীর দীর্ঘতম ছবি আঁকবো বলে দু তীরের প্রায় লুপ্ত বনাঞ্চল হারিয়ে যাওয়া পাখিদের কণ্ঠস্বর আর ছন্ন ছাড়া মানুষের যাবতীয় অপমান ছবির রঙে মেশাতে চাই যাতে খেটে খাওয়া সর্বস্ব হারানো মানুষ জানবে এ তাদেরই কথা তাদেরই ছবি তাদেরই ভাষা পিপাসার বিবর্ণ পথে প্রসারিত আজ দীর্ঘ খরার পর হঠাৎ বৃষ্টি এলে মাথায় ভেসে আসে কত যে প্রস্তাব যেমন শ্রাবণ শেষের বৃষ্টির পর বাতাসে ছড়িয়ে যায় শরতের ঘ্রাণ মাঠে মাঠে কৃষকের ব্যস্ততা আর ধান দোয়ার আনন্দে কত যে কোরাজ গান রচিত হয়ে যায় যেন তীব্র ঢেউয়ের উপর চমকে ওঠা রাশি রাশি আলো যা আনবিক বোমা ও সন্ত্রাসকেও নাকচ করে দেয় সহাস্য স্পর্ধায় ধন্যবাদ তৌফিক ভাই থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ পয়েট সুধাংশু রঞ্জন সাহা ফর ইউর বিউটিফুল পয়েম থ্যাংক ইউ এগেইন নাও আই এম ইনভাইটিং পয়েটেস ইমেন মেলেতি টু প্রেজেন্ট হার থার্ড পয়েম টুডে 
Now I am inviting poetess Kimen Meliti. Thank you. Uh, my third poem is meditation. When we met at the crossroad of my distance, the curtains of new morning raised up. I opened my eyes with the abandonment of my emotion, with no fear of falling into the whirlwind of intoxication. I thought I was losing my mind. At first glance, I'd rather find my heart down in pleasure. Yesterday, my memories cried with a deep distress. Don't be taken in. Love hurts. Today, my Uanda welcomes your hugs and proclaims love heals. The time comes when your presence in my, in my mind becomes a truer than the absence of your body. The moment when your silence communicates schools with which I sing my dreams surpassed by reality. This blessing time when I dare believe it in the magic of eternity. Thank you. Thank you again for your beautiful poem. Thank you very much, poetess Imen Militi. Now I am going to again Cyprus to invite it, inviting poetess Ephigenia Mitochi. Now I am inviting poetess Ephigenia Mitochi to present her third poem today. Thank you. The third poem with the title, I am a soul. I am a soul, a brain of life. We are like two butterflies who threw the breath out of their body for our freedom, for our truth. Time gives value to silence as the rain hits the window furiously and the drops of tears reflect the sadness of the sky. The sea drives away the real that the times bottled, and in the background, hope tests the courage of people. Thank you. Thank you very much, poetess Ephigenia Mitochi, for your beautiful poem again. Thank you very much. Now I am inviting poetess Maria Blaine Martaidi to present her third poem today. Thank you. Thank you so much. La conciencia no está limpia en el amanecer. Probablemente pierda la cabeza, tarde o temprano. Mi conciencia estalló. Quise romper su coche contra un mural. No puedo dejar de admirar su ser. Y me pregunto, ¿qué hora es? ¿Dónde estoy? ¿Y por qué estoy aquí? La conciencia no está limpia en el amanecer. Acabo de despertar y no sé quién soy. Olvidé mi nombre y nadie puede recordármelo. Sus ojos siguen de cerca cada paso mío. Puedo destrozar todo a mi paso, pero no puedo destrozarlo a él. Es de madrugada y no sé dónde estoy, ni de dónde, dónde vengo. Solo sé que no podré olvidarlo jamás. Y aquí vamos otra vez, con un sinfín de emociones, donde recuerdo una y otra vez el miserable instante donde creí jurar el amor real confundiéndome otra vez. Estoy tan cansada de mí, mi vida es una confusión constante. Disculpa, ¿puedes decirme mi nombre? Que en tu labio se halle tan bonito que me odia a mí misma. Tengo el poder en mis manos de mandar todo por la borda, de un lado a otro como un maldito zigzag. Probablemente perdí la cabeza, perdí mi conciencia y perdí mi cordura cuando lo vi llegar. Y no pude evitar cuestionar si él recordaba mi nombre, porque desde ese momento mi nombre le perteneció, solo con su hermosa presencia, su maravillosa presencia. Me derrumbo con botellas a mi alrededor, miles de botellas a mi alrededor. Invadió mi vida y lo permití. Y lo peor es que no puedo olvidarme de ti. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, poetess Maria Blen Martairi, for your beautiful poem. Now again, I'm going to poet Arnob Ashik. Now I'm inviting poet Arnob Ashik to present his final poem today. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to talk to you about the 
কিষাণের পহেলা বৈশাখ অগ্নিময় দিন হলুদ বিষণ্ন খেতে ধান নেই আগুন জ্বলছে খরের কাদায় কতদিন ওখানে জলে কাদায় বুনেছে কিষা আউশের বীজ ধান হরের পান্থার কিছু গন্ধ মেখেছিল তার ঠোঁটে হয়তো সে খুঁজেছে আজীবন জীবনের মানে এইভাবে গ্রীষ্ম বর্ষা শীত শরতের রাতে ঝিঝি পোকা ডাহুকের সাথে হয়তো খুঁজেছে সে আপন পরিচয় চৈত্র সংক্রান্তি হালকাতা বা পয়লা বৈশাখে জ্যোষ্ঠমখ হারাতে অথবা কৃষ্ণপক্ষের আদারে ঝাঁকরা বটের ছায়ে শিশির সাথে হয়তো ভেবেছে কোন এক কাক ডাকা ভরে সবুজ ক্ষেতের আল ধরে কিশনকে নিয়ে হেঁটে যাবে মেলায় হেঁটে যাবে পয়লা বৈশাখে তখন I think there is a network problem uh, from Ondovashik. So I am inviting a poetess Aniti Tarple to present her last poem today. Now I am inviting uh, poetess Aniti Tarple to present her last poem today. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, again, a pleasure to be here and uh, as always. This is called When the Fortress Burns. Whenever the fortress burns, someone has lit the flame. Fingers point at others, neglecting ourselves to blame. It only takes one spark to start the burning fire, not controlled. The young, at loss for words to say, we ramble when we're old. Look yonder, the embers burn, still a lit with a fiery glow. Rumors are an undercurrent that carry when the wind doth blow. Words can be heavy laden, the flame can light up a room. Death of a bond can happen, no life left to be exhumed. Hearken to the words of the wise, there sits the owl in wait, perched upon a branch. He has witnessed the source of hate. The kingdom of the heavens unleashes a torrential rain, the cleansing of the waters, musical with a sweet refrain. The fortress no longer burns. It has been doused with an ample blow. Listen to the hoot of the owl. He is sage. With what? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, poetess Aniti Tarple. Mr. Kushal Bhomik, do you hear me? 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 Kushal Bhomik? I'm suffering from... Uh network connection i don't know yes please please uh, uh, we are, are hearing, hearing? hearing yes we are here i am hearing are you your hearing voice me? yes yes i am hearing you i just i just give you a call you receive i just giving you a call you receive please just wait আচ্ছা uh, nice today i have to face 
ধন্যবাদ তৌফিক জহুর ফর ইনভাইটিং মি প্রথম যে কবিতাটি পড়ছি সে কবিতাটির নাম মানুষের গন্ধ প্রতিদিন বাদমাগ্রিভ মোস্তফার দোকানে বসি করা লিকারের জঘন্য চায়ের চুমুক দি আর চারপাশের মানুষ দেখি মানুষ দেখার এই ভয়ঙ্কর নেশাটা আমি বাবার থেকে পেয়েছি বাবা প্রায় বলতেন সুযোগ পেলেই মানুষ দেখবি যিশু এবং পশুর এমন অদ্ভুত মিশ্রণ তুই আর কোথাও পাবি না আমি ফার্ম গেটের ওভার ব্রিজে দাঁড়িয়ে মানুষ দেখি গুলিস্তান জিরো পয়েন্টে দাঁড়িয়ে মানুষ দেখি পাবলিক লাইব্রেরির তিনতলার বারান্দায় দাঁড়িয়ে মানুষ দেখি মানুষ দেখি পত্রিকার পাতায় টিভির পর্দায় সোশ্যাল মিডিয়ায় হাত পা নাড়িয়ে অদ্ভুত ভাবে কথা বলা মানুষ শক্তিশালী পোশাক পরা ক্ষমতাবান মানুষ আর দেখি করতলে শূন্যতা আর ক্ষুধার মতো সার্বজনীন ভাষা নিয়ে নিশ্চুপ দাঁড়িয়ে থাকা মানুষ মানুষ দেখতে দেখতে আমার পৌরাণিক রাক্ষসদের কথা মনে পড়ে যায় হাও মাও খাও মানুষের গন্ধ পাও বাবা এই দেশে এখন আর রাক্ষস আসে না এই দেশে এখন আর মানুষের গন্ধ নেই ধন্যবাদ আমি আমার দ্বিতীয় কবিতাটি পড়ছি দ্বিতীয় কবিতাটি আমি বাংলা এবং ইংরেজি পাশাপাশি পড়ছি ট্রান্সলেট আমি নিজেই করেছি কবিতার শিরোনাম জীবন কত লোকের কত কিছু হারিয়ে যায় টাকা পয়সা গয়নাগাটি বাড়ির দলিল প্রিয় কোন মুখ আমি হারিয়ে ফেলেছি আমার জীবন তন্ন তন্ন করে খুঁজেও পাচ্ছি না কোথাও পুরনো ফাইল পত্র জয়ার আলমিরা কাঠের বাক্স পুরাতন অ্যালবাম কোথাও নেই পুরনো প্রেমিকাদের ফোন করে জেনেছি নেই ওদের কাছেও নেই ভর সন্ধ্যায় মা বাবার শ্মশানে গিয়ে খুঁজেছি মায়ের অশ্রু বাবার তর্জনী না সেখানেও ফেলে আসেনি জীবন নদীমাত্রিক কামনায় বউয়ের বুকে মুখ গুজেছি সুনীলের মতো দেশলাই জ্বালিয়ে আরো আর গভীরে না সেখানে সংসারের ভুর ভুর গন্ধ আছে জীবন নেই তবে কি জীবন ফেলে এসেছি শৈশবের শিউলি তলায় সুতবাদীর স্তনের বোটায় জুথিকার প্রেম পত্রে কিংবা মাঝ রাত্রিরে দমকে ওঠা কান্নায় এইসব অর্ধ মৃত মুমূর্ষ দৃশ্য পটেই কি আটকে আছে জীবন আইসিউ দশ নম্বর বেডে মৃত্যুর দিকে ঝুঁকে পড়া বাবার মুখ তুলসীতলায় মায়ের নিথর শরীর মর্গে পড়ে থাকা শিপনের মৃতদেহ ক্যান্সারের সাথে লড়তে থাকা দেবী মাসির বিদীর্ণ শরীর কোথায় হারিয়েছি জীবন তবে কি হারিয়ে হারিয়ে বারবার খুঁজে বেড়ানোর এই হয়রানিটুকুর নামই জীবন নাও ট্রান্সলেটেড লাইফ পিপুল লস সো মেনি থিংস মানি জুয়েলারি ডকুমেন্টস বিলাভেড ফেস আই হ্যাভ লস্ট মাই লাইফ and can't find any more old files drawers cupboards wooden boxes old albums no fire i found my ex lovers they don't have it there i went to my parents crematorium in devring no didn't leave like there burning with love and desire put my face and partner's breast deeper and deeper go i Leave the mastic like Shunil, got the art this mail, not life. Did I live life in the midst of midnight tears, in Juthika's love letters, or in Shutapa's breast under Hyacinth's garden? The face of my father leaning towards date in the ICU bed number 10. The frozen body of my mother lying on floor 
covered with flowers and bent the leaf, the lifeless sheep and lying in the morgue, the torn body of my aunt Debbie fighting against cancer. Is life stuck in this update, dying scenes? Is life the name of harassment to loss and seek it again and again? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Poet Kushal Bhoumik, for your beautiful uh, poem. At the last moment, you have joined. We are highly glad and thank you again. Uh, though our network problem today is too much high, so we could not uh, connect it to everyone. Uh, but now, finally, I'm reading some viewers' comments. Uh, Poet Deepak Bandhapadhyay from uh, West Bengal, Kolkata, he has to return. Sudangsharanjan Shaha, Apnar Ispartha Kovita, Anik Deen Mone Thakbe, Shahoz Bhashai, Manushir Kotha, Ebhabe Kajuniya. Poet Uzzal Chattopadda has to return, if it's in India, we don't understand, but feed the emotion. Poet Deepak Bandhapadda again written, Amadir Bhandhapashar Arek Naam, Kushol Bhoumi, Ebong Tar Kovita. Insider Moushumi Hawk has to return, Excellent Kushol Bhoumi. Poetess Ainur Kumar Khanova from Uzbekistan, he has to return. Excellent. Thank you very much for your all beautiful comments. Now I am going to Poetess Sudangsho, Poet Sudangsho Ranjan Shaha to present his last poem. Now I am inviting Poet Sudangsho Ranjan Shaha. ধন্যবাদ তৌফিক আমি শেষ কবিতা পড়ছি কবিতার শিরোনাম মেঘের জন্মদিন মেঘের জন্মদিনে বৃষ্টির হাতছানি গুলে দেয় ভালোবাসার বর্ণমালা গোলাপ নয় পদ্ম নয় হাতে হাতে শুধু বকুলের মালা ভাবতে ভাবতে এই হাতে এলো তোমার পোস্টকার্ড লিখতে হবে দু এক পঙ্ক্তি বৃষ্টির ভার্স পাঠ্য তালিকা ছাড়া কে আর ওড়ায় পাতা সহবাস মুছে গেলে বিষণ্ন রাত ওড়ায় পানশালা সে এক খোলা চিঠি না লেখা বিবৃতি বিকল্প রাতের অনুবাদ চিঠি লেখায় টেনেছে ইতি আত্মজীবনী ছিঁড়ে লুকোচুরি খেলে আয় না শ্রাবণের বৃষ্টি সন্ধে বেলা খুলে ধরে জানালা বিচ্ছিন্নতার বিষ বাতার ছিঁড়েই সাঁতরে আসে হাঁস এবার বন্ধ খাম খুললে এসে উঠুক গম্ভীর ছাত্রী নিবাস থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ পয়েট সুধাংশু রঞ্জন সাহা ফর ইউর বিউটিফুল এন্ডিং পয়েমস নাও আই এম ইনভাইটিং পয়েট ইস অ্যানিথি তার প্লে টু প্রেজেন্ট হার লাস্ট পয়েম টুডে থ্যাংক ইউ হ্যালো আই এম সো সরি আই থাট দ্যাট লাস্ট টাইম ইউ সেট ওয়াজ মাই লাস্ট পয়েম সো লেট মি লুক ফর সামথিং রিয়েল কুইক আই অ্যাপলজাইজ um uh i'm going to do one from memory um it's called an angel wings when my life on this earth is over when my last breath is done i will fly away on angel wings my eyes set on the rising sun over the mountains i will fly passing the eagle along the way there will be no more pain and sorrow on this the first of my eternal days high above the vastest ocean beyond the deepest blue sea light and free spirit in my soul elated at last reveling in ecstasy no more tears shall i then shed no more sad rivers will i cry the drop of happiness will leave my eye remember me as one who has loved to the deepest core of my heart an everlasting memory retained the moment we last did depart this life was but a short journey sometimes lonely i did roam now that i have my angel wings i'm flying off to home thank you thank you very much poet is anitita play for your beautiful poem now i am going to 
uh, invite uh, poetess Emin Meleti to present her last poem today. Thank you. Never underestimate a woman. Never underestimate a woman who knows when to stand up and make steps on her broken legs. A woman who gives birth from the lifeless body made. Never underestimate a woman who can be on the top of her femininity in spite of her lurid soul. Never underestimate a woman who can hold her smashed piece and dance against the wind. Never underestimate a woman who is being herself in front of you, as in front of her mirror. Never underestimate a woman who smiles out of pain, out of grief. A woman who dares to touch her bleeding wounds. A woman who never asks, who never begs, who never needs. Thank you. Thank you very much for for your beautiful poem, finally, you have to read. Now, I am going to invite uh, poetess Ephigenia Mithuchi to present her last poem today. Now, I am inviting poetess Ephigenia Mithuchi to present her last poem today. Thank you. Okay, give me a moment. Um, Okay, uh, the last one, I will tell something in my language and after I will translate it in English. Elpida zoe. Prosefkisu din ora tis klipsis. Tragudiste din ora tis haras. Doste foni ta soterika sas tin estimata. Kitaxte vasia mesa sas. Keta vrite to dropo να συνεχίσετε, να ανταπεξέλθετε. Αλλάξτε τον τρόπο που σκέφτεστε στη ζωή. Βρείτε το φίλο που σας κάνει να χαμογελάτε. Λάβετε δράση και έχετε πάντα ελπίδα. Όταν η ζωή σε βάζει κάτω, αφιερώστε χρόνο για να προσευχηθείτε. Μην επιτρέπετε στον εαυτό σας να συμφιώνετε. Ο Θεός θα σας βοηθήσει να δείτε τις ευλογίες της μέρας. Όταν η ζωή σε απογοητεύει και χρειάζεστε ένα χαμόγελο, κοιτάξτε ψηλά στον ουρανό. Η αλφίδα είναι το φως στο τέλος του τούνερ, το αστέρι του βορριά με το οποίο πληγήσε στη ζωή σας, μέσα από δοκιμασίες, τα όνειρά μας για μια καλύτερη μέρα. I will tell you now in English. Life hope. Pray in the hours of sorrow. Sigh at the time of joy. Give voice to your inner feelings. Look deep inside you and you will find the way to go. You change the way he thought about life. Find the friend who makes you smile. Take action and always have hope. When life puts you down, take time to pray. Do not allow yourself to flow. God will give you see the blessing of the day when life put you down and you need a smile. Look up at the sky. Hope is the light at the end of the tunnel. The stars of the north with which we navigate our lives through trials and tribulation to our dreams for a better day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Poetess Epigenia Metucci, for your beautiful poem. Thank you very much. I am reading some viewers' comments. Uh, poet Deepak Bandhubatai from West Bengal, Kolkata, he has to written best wishes and lots of love for all poets. My brother and my friend and president of UHE in Chile, Mr. Christian Romero Diaz, has to written amazing best wishes to all marvelous poets and poetess. Uh, poetess Saboni Shom Jos from West Bengal, she has to written a uh, Shadaron, a uh, Shadaron. Uh, poet and president of UHE, Mr. Christian Romero Diaz, again has to written wonderful, my dear Aniti Tarple, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for all the uh, viewers who are watching this show. Thank you very much. Finally, I am going to uh, 
uh, invite poetess Maria Blaine Martaidi to present her last poem today. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. Madrugada. ¿Qué tan complicado puede llegar a ser el amor? Un día sí, un día no. Un día destinado, el otro día no deseado. Qué tortura no comprender lo que pasa por tu mente. Agarro mi enemiga, mi propia mente, y le cuestiono una explicación. Qué complicado es enamorarse, pero más terrible desenamorarse. Porque al vivir en un mar de dudas y perspectivas, solo queda la ilusión de la mente, que llega al final del día. No necesito explicaciones, el desastre y la paz llevan el mismo apellido. No necesito escuchar ni ver más, a menos que sea tu suave toque. Ya no quedan más preguntas, silencios o lágrimas. Ya no queda nada en mi cabeza. Solo puedo repetir que, maldita, maldita sea la hora en la madrugada en que me quebré. Pero bendita, bendita sea la hora en que me enamoré. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Maria Blen Martairi, for your beautiful last poem. That was really fantastic. Though we don't understand the language of Spanish, but we have to understand the rhythm of the language of Spanish. Thank you very much for your beautiful poem. In the Bengali poetry, the generations of it, 80, the most important poet, Mr. Shomit Boshu, is watching this show. He has to return Besh Bhalo Thank you, Poet Shomit Boshu, for your beautiful comments. At the last moment, we have to read. Uh, finally, uh, this show is going to be uh, closed now. Uh, we have started our one slogan, that is, the, the sky of poetry is one and the poetry united people under one umbrella that is the poetry umbrella also our senior poet mr borun chakraborty has to retain one comments that is uh, shubhachcha obinandan thank you poet borun chakraborty for your beautiful wish thank you very much uh, finally, we are uh, going to close this show, but this is not the ending uh, point. Uh, we are telling and highly uh, inviting to all that again and again we will invite you in the show and we will present here and to present your beautiful poems. Uh, poetry has no boundaries and the world poetry is go under one wave that is the rhythm of humanism so all the poets thank you very much who has participated today thank you very much god bless you and the finally last comments that is the world is not free from COVID today uh, so please when you go out from your home please stay and use mask to save your uh, protection and sometimes you do the hand sanitize best of luck god bye uh, god bless you bye bye see you again on national another pro program thank, thank you, you very thank much you, bye. thank you thank you thank you bye bye